Hello, welcome to Musher's Tales. So, uh, it's a wet one today. It's supposed to have uh, quite a bit of rain and some thunderstorms and everything. But uh, we're going camping anyways. So canoe camping trip, we're off. Uh, got to load up the car and uh, get into some drier clothes and we'll be on our way. So, this is how it goes. And the obligatory, that's not going anywhere. Almost at the boat launching site. Uh, waiting. Uh, there's supposed to be some thunderstorms, so they told us to kind of pay attention. It's uh, 20 to 2, and the storms are supposed to start at 2, so hopefully they're wrong for by about an hour, and we'll be good. See you on the water. Perfect spot. Drive right to the water. Ready to go. In between two rain showers. So, so we're missing maybe 15 minutes. We got this up. And, uh, yeah, this is where we're at. We'll have to raise this once the storm's by. But we got off the water in time. Got a fire going. My wife got a fire going, but the, uh, the problem with the fire is uh, little containers sloped the wrong way, so it was full of water. So it's going to fill full of water right now as it rains. It's like a defect. Badly installed. So yeah, we'll wait this out. And then we'll set up some more. It's coming down. So, uh, things are starting to be under control. Tents up. A few more cords. My wife did a little bit of engineering here. Drain the water. Fire's going well. You see the lake. There's supposed to be people at this campsite, but obviously there's not. They're smarter than us. But uh, that'd be fun for a tent, eh? See what the other site looks like. Places are a little bit too close. Uh, 
this would be the better place. You could snore here and no one's gonna bother you. Actually, this is, yeah, I prefer this one here. Of course, what happens is if you park the canoe, they could be walking right up here all the time too. So I guess every place has a convenience, a inconvenience. I'm looking for the, whoa, what's that? That's frog. Hanging the bear bag. And the loo. What's nice about uh, this federal park is that uh, the wood's in the price and it's nice wood. It's nice, it's dry, all kinds of it. In a provincial park, it costs you seven bucks or something like that for five pieces of wood. And it's, you know, it's a piece of popple with a piece of birch in there and a piece of softwood. Anyways, it's, it's not really good wood. Here we are, we're all alone. I don't know if there's anybody else on the lake, to be honest with you. There's supposed to be people camping here and uh, they're not. So maybe the weather scared everybody off, who knows? Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's great. I have to go on the other side. We're battening down the hatches because there's a storm coming. How many points? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. For me and you. 35 on the first hand, I'm doing good. So we have a calamity. Forgot the utensils. So uh, if it wasn't raining, we'd be sharpening a stick. So we might be sharpening a stick anyways. Are you gonna eat with a sharpened stick? I definitely will not. Watch out, I'm gonna hit the paddles. So it looks like we're going to be eating with our fingers a bit. So I'm going to turn the camera off so I don't grease up the camera. So 
question of how many throws. I think you'll do it in one. You're getting better at it. How high do you think that is? Judging three, three of Should be high enough. So, somebody went to the bathroom and I accompanied them. Let's see what happened. So what happened? I went to the outhouse and I was having to pee. And as I got up, I saw a mouse scurry out the door and I screeched. Anyone who knows me knows I would screech if I saw a mouse. And then I let off a whole string of profanities. <laughs> And now our neighbors at the campsite are all traumatized because they don't know if we saw a werewolf or something. <laughs> so. I'll, I won't be going back to the outhouse. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I mean, you saw, you saw a bear and you didn't scream like that. No, I didn't. But yeah. a mouse? Oh. Yeah, anyways, there you go. There was a mouse, he lived in the outhouse. Oh. <clears throat> as long as he doesn't crawl in my tent. Yeah. Morning. Quiet night. Not too many loons. Uh, just some squirrels chattering this morning, a few birds, a raven. But yeah, pretty quiet night. Didn't rain. Uh, I don't know what the temperature is, but it got cool. Had uh, the old air mattress. Wasn't uh, inflated quite enough. Just on the edge, another half an inch would have been good. And uh, that's it, uneventful night, but a bit on the cool side. Didn't sleep well, didn't sleep badly. Nothing like a baby bell in the morning. obligatory shot for the kids for the grandkids morning kids yeah you can't have a baby bell without doing this <laughs> wouldn't stick my finger in there Maybe house of a mouse. 
the house of the mouse that lives in the outhouse. <laughs> 7.30 in the morning. We've eaten. We've packed. And uh, we're going to be on our way soon, I guess. Gee, if it keeps on going like this, I wouldn't have anything to bring down. This will be like our typical videos. <laughs> Watch that. Uh, <laughs> when I'm filming, I'm not working. I'm going to get fired. <laughs> now this is where we should uh, take a picture of us paddling away. But then we'd have to come back and get the... <sighs> Get the camera. Not gonna happen. Here we go, we load it up. No one on the lake. And we're off. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Till the next time.